Well, Mark and Julie Jensen's son was just eight years old at the time she died in 1998. His memories are faded, but he clearly remembers the last time he saw his mom a lot. Mark Jensen called police saying he found his wife Julie dead in the bedroom of their Pleasant Prairie house. He said she'd been sick and died while he was picking the kids up from school. Their son David was just eight years old at the time. We went to go say goodbye to her um, before we left for school. And where was she? She was in, in bed. And was she still sick? Uh, yes, her breathing was raspy that morning, um, but she still you know, gave us a hug told us she loved us um, and, you know, b before we left. Prosecutors say Mark poisoned Julie with antifreeze because he was having an affair and wanted her out of the way. But David didn't speak to any animosity between his parents. Mark claimed Julie killed herself, angry over his affair and suffering from depression. When given the chance, Mark decided against testifying, just as he did at his first trial in 2008. Have you discussed your decision whether or not to testify with your lawyer? I have. Or your three lawyers? I have. All right. Have you made a decision? I have. And what is your decision? Um, I elect not to testify. You're not going to testify? Correct. Jurors are told not to draw any conclusions about Jensen's guilt or innocence based on that decision not to testify. If convicted, he would face life in prison. At the Kenosha Courthouse, Nick Bohr, WISN 12 News.